What's up guys, my name is Signoba here for Troubleshoot and today I'll be showing you how you can defragment multiple hard disks at once. If you try and do it through Windows, it'll only do one at a time and if you have more than a couple of hard disks, it can take a very long time to do, especially if there's many. It'll go through one to the next to the next, when you could just do all of them at once, take a bit more CPU and do it over say one night instead of multiple days if you have that many hard disks or they're very slow. That is the Windows method of doing it, so I've got that link down below if you'd like to do them one at a time or you have only a few hard disks. However, if you'd like to do multiple disks at once, there's a piece of software that I've been using for quite some time called Galeri Soft Disk Speedup. If you go ahead and click the link in the description down below and hit the download button over here, it'll go ahead and download. Simply click on it to open it as soon as it's done. Once it's open, go ahead and hit next, I agree, next, next. Then once it's done installing, you'll be presented with this page here. Make sure to uncheck install Glary Utilities so you don't get a bunch of other software from this company and uncheck view release notes. And you can just hit finish. Then you'll see this page open up over here. It's a little bit confusing, but don't worry. This whole green and blue area down below is just a visual representation of the disks. So up at the top here, you have a bunch of tick boxes next to a bunch of hard disks and SSDs. Make sure that the tick boxes next to your SSDs are unchecked and they should be unchecked by default. You should not be defragging an SSD as it will vastly shorten the lifespan of it for absolutely no performance increase. So let's say I want to defrag these three hard disks at once. What do I need to do? Well, simply head across to the options up here and then you'll be presented with this page over here. Simply make sure that simultaneous defragmentation of disks is ticked like this. Once you've done that, go ahead and hit OK. And then after making sure all of your hard disks are ticked, you can hit the analyze button and it'll go through and analyze all of your disks that you have checked. This may take some time. It's a bit slower than the Windows analysis in my opinion. However, it does seem to do a better job of overall defragmentation. So I'm not going to sit here for 10 minutes for it to go through four terabytes of space. However, this one seems to be going relatively fast. Either way, I'm going to go ahead and hit stop. It'll pause all of them and then you can go ahead and hit the defrag button. You don't need to hit analyze before hitting defrag because defrag will analyze before it does its job. Hitting the drop down next to defrag, you can hit defrag and optimize, which is slower and you should only use once a week apparently. However, I do this every time. Instead of defragmenting files between a certain size, defrag and optimize seems to do every file, especially the big ones. Heading across to the option tab and then optimize, it'll tell you exactly what the optimize button actually does. So anyways, that's that. You can just hit defrag and leave it going overnight. And then there is a tick box in the right hand side to turn your PC off after defrag. Super useful. My name has been Technobo here for Troubleshoots. That has been how to defrag multiple disks at once. And I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.